in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hugh was carjacked at gunpoint as he was leaving the shops. Police had been chasing the culprits and slammed into poor Hugh's car. It was smashed up and almost two years on, it's still not fixed. And then as I glanced down, I had a guy run up with a mask um, and gloves, uh, trying to stab me with a knife. Don't move, don't try nothing, I'm gonna kill you. It's anyone's worst nightmare. I'm terrified um, that I'm gonna have a knife to my throat or, you know, stab towards my body. Um, so that's been very difficult. Carjacked at knife point at the local shops late at night as police swarm. Don't smash my car up, it's a car, man. For Hugh and Alex Garner, it's a near two year ordeal they'd rather forget. Made all the more worse, they say, by being ignored in the aftermath. I'm not sure whether we will recover from this. Get back! Get back now! Hugh had just finished a workout at the gym and had been to the shops to get some groceries. As he came outside, he noticed a helicopter overhead, but little did he know what danger he was about to walk into. As Hugh filmed this video of the helicopter above, standing beside his car, a man rushed up to him. I froze and um, the adrenaline kicked in and um, yeah, I just tried to get out of his way. As Hugh ran away, a man and woman armed with a knife and gun jumped into his car, but heavily armed police oh, were man. seconds away, ramming the vehicle before it could flee. I knew it was a SWAT team because they cut out with vests and big rifles and um, it was pretty, pretty terrifying. That was scary, man. That's my car, man. Hugh called his wife, who rushed to the scene. This phone call was just my husband. The other end of the phone screaming. It was really, really confronting. And then seeing my car, the only way we could get our son to hospital, just gone. The couple's son, Mason, has an immune disorder which required chemotherapy treatment at the Queensland Children's Hospital, an hour drive from their home. Alex admits with the cost of medication and rising cost of living, the insurance on the car had slipped. I knew we were uninsured, so I knew my car had gone. The day after the carjacking, Mason became incredibly unwell, but without a car, the family had to wait an agonising 45 minutes for an ambulance to arrive. Instead of watching my son become unconscious in my arms, I could have got him there a lot sooner. The carjacking happened in Tweed Heads on the New South Wales side of the border with Queensland, but it was Queensland police who did the arrest. The couple claims they were assured at the time Queensland police would repair their car. Having the police on the night um, say to us, don't worry, we were the ones that crashed into your car, we are covered, our insurance will replace your car, cover any costs. The couple even received this email from a detective confirming the QPS would be covering all costs. But 18 months on from the horror incident, the couple's car still sits as a wreck. It's just made our life extremely hard. The couple had to borrow cars from friends just to be able to get Mason to hospital for treatment, eventually taking money out of their superannuation to buy a car. The family says they feel let down and says the whole saga should never have happened. It could have been prevented because he was already out on bail. He was already out on bail. Had he still been in jail, had the justice system done its job, he wouldn't have been out. Yeah. So we wouldn't be in this situation. Since the weekend, there's been two violent carjackings in Queensland. Look, it's horrifying and uh, members of the public should be able, able to go about their lawful business any time in any way they wish to do so, not be approached by these sort of thugs. It, it's outrageous as far as I'm concerned, yes. It's horrendous and there is such a huge crime um, problem here in Queensland and unfortunately our Premier, um, it, it just continues to bury her head in the sand about it. The two offenders involved had been on a crime spree across the southeast, which ended with Hugh's carjacking. Both had lengthy criminal histories and pleaded guilty to their latest crimes, 
sentenced to seven and six years in jail. And the couple say they heard from police this afternoon. It was basically a communication issue and it'll now be sorted.